This is awesome though, I like this kind of stuff. Oh, this is like a crazy dungeon down here, right? Yeah. It there's, was, a... um, there's whatever's left in the van, I had a uh, dunker a... come by and clear it out, but he left a few pieces. This is a VW bus in here? Yeah. This thing's gnarly. up everyone you you here we are another beautiful day in paradise cruising out to cut some grass before the rain comes I'm using the GoPro today because I was watching over the footage from yesterday and the um, the focus on that lens is terrible I'm sorry for that we're getting a new lens later today it should be there by the time we get back hopefully but we're cruising now we're about to try and chop as much grass as we can and then hopefully I got some cash in my wallet hopefully we come up on some heavy estate sales I'm not seeing any signs yet but we're on a prime location for them oh, on the island Friday, it's Friday yeah I don't like keep track of the days because we're always going so and whoever suggested that we go to Walmart to get this thing we oh, did yeah. it so, it was only five bucks. Only five dollars. What is it called? Well, it says Gold's Gym, so I guess it's a weight trainer. A waist trainer. Waist trainer. Waist trainer. Not really a waist trainer. It's like it just it makes you sweat more in your waist area. Waist trainers are usually the ones that have like the different slits so that you can tighten it as you get as your waist gets smaller. You can tighten it to fit your waist, but this just makes you sweat. So the dream, the dream. And it supports your back, so that helps too with what we do. Because I don't have very good posture, so like, yeah, it helps. Back breaking labor, good. what we do usually. Honestly, you should get one. But yeah, the dream is real out here today. So, sun is shining as for now, and we are happy to be alive. All right, lawn one. Here we go before it rains. Try and get as much done as we can. Two properties, it's the biggest one, which it doesn't seem big probably to most people, but the properties around here are really small. Um, what we like to do, we leave a trash can here that we got from a job so we can fill it with grass every time we come. So we don't have to be lugging around piles of grass in our truck so we like to put trash cans at all the different jobs that we can but uh, we're going for it so I'm about, we're about to cut this dude saw this coming but didn't really see this coming it is fucking pouring like torrential I'm soaking wet. It started raining three minutes ago. What are you looking at? Oh, you're south. MJ, look, Kiki. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> you rocked oh, it. My shy. Come here, Papa. All right, we got rained out. <coughs> Fresh cut grass. Makes you sneeze. But we got rained out, so we're going to be fixing up this keep life room to turn it into a office, packaging room, online storeroom. Hoard life. Not hoard life, that's the difference. Those other rooms are for hoarding. This is for actually making an office. Mm. Okay. I should here. Wild in the streets out here, boys. Got this umbrella out of the trash though. It's working nicely. Get under this and then walk. Right? <laughs> are, you gonna, are you gonna open your door? Yeah. Alright, go. Yeah. You gotta walk with me. 
craziest store that, uh, that we've dealt with in a while. Look at the street. This is some pro Look at this. No way. <laughs> Eating the slicers in the rain? That's classic. Why'd you wear a wig today of all days? Okay, because I was. <laughs> I put my like purple shampoo on my hair and then put a plastic like shop right bag over it so that it can like tone it or whatever. That's a cheap way to tone your hair. To put purple shampoo on it for a couple of hours and like. I'm keeping it on when we're driving, you know what I mean? Like a half an hour away, so fucking. I'm not gonna be riding around with a fucking trash bag on my head. Ooh! But I didn't, it wasn't raining when I put all this on, so, oh, it just got all over me. Say goodbye to your slides. No, it has meat on it. <laughs> I like my meat. I just thought that was going to be closer, but it's going further away right now. Alright, so... We just got paid from the carpet job, and I had my eye on these. I call them Scarface lights. They were hanging on the wall in front of a light bulb. Um, I just got, they're like leaf blown glass from the 80s. Um, I said, if you're throwing them out, I'll take them. And the guy was like, take them now. So, scored these one totally in good condition, and one that's broken that might be able to just like sand a little bit and just sell this one and maybe keep the other one but also we just got back and look what we got dun 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 the lens boys Woo! it's light so we're ready to go we got full epicness just happened. Oh. All right, so we cleared out most of this room. Treadmill, that's gonna end up scrap. We have it posted on offer up right now, but whew, that thing's brutal. But I got this piece of wood that I painted a while ago. I found it in a dumpster from a new construction site, and then I found this piece of metal, the uh, table bottom in, a, in the trash too. But I'm planning on just making this into like a little table to take pictures. Eventually put a white sheet over it, I guess. So I can take pictures with the nice lighting that Dale sent us um, to post on our store and whatnot. So that's the plan right now. Woo! And then I'm going to put a shelf here of all items that we're going to get listed. Maybe two shelves. And eventually probably a desk right there and post this thing. This little desk jewelry thing for sale because Sammy said she doesn't want it. So that's the plan we got going now. All right, so our friend Tony in Canada ordered these two for $8 for both. They're made from Occupy Japan, and I actually bought these. These weren't part of the collection. Um, if you guys saw the video of us last weekend at the flea market, I bought them at that one yard sale. He also purchased this mini lighter it's from occupied japan also and it's very cool it comes in this little tiny box so he's in ontario in canada pretty sure ontario but uh yeah if you see stuff on our videos and you're out of the country feel free to email us and ask us if you'll if we'll send it because we will we just don't want to put it online because the shipping's so outrageous sometimes it's like deters people from even ordering but uh yeah it's going out today for the drain hey listener that's a good size one that works we got ac in the house well, central I'm, there i'm just saying yeah. that if you wanted to advertise it and sell it i mean it's in a box and everything uh i got a bunch of stuff you're a legend i got some things maybe you might want this piece here it's missing the pull string. Oh, that's, yeah, that's nice. You can have that for free. Wow. Because it's going to end up scrap. 
Just because I'm not, I don't have time to, to fix it or even try to fix it. Yeah, I hear you. That's nice. The blades are are nice though. I don't, yeah. That's why I pulled it out. It was in a house we cleaned out in the underneath like yeah this growth, and I was like, wow, this looks new. And then I looked at it and I realized it was broken, but fixable probably. And this mower, I'm selling it, but I think all it needs is a new battery. This is pretty nice. I wanted to use it here, but I don't know how to fix it. But I haven't really tried either, because I've been busy. I, we're doing like online store and we just, yeah, I hear it's brutal. Like so much uh, packaging and emailing people and abusive pretty much, but it's money. doesn't have a battery, right? It does, under here. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. It has one, yeah. It's, uh, the battery's much newer than the actual mower. So yeah. I'm assuming if it would be charged, it could You know be what good. I mean? Yeah, I think that they, I mean, unless they put a new battery in and it still didn't work, you know, that could be the, the, the point. I don't know. Did you try anything? I mean, yeah, but I don't really know the safeties on these things. I tried looking it up, but I kind of like gave up after a little bit because it was like a little bit crazy. Check for a boat, offshore fishing boat. Okay. It probably cost over fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. It's a real fighting chair. You know. So it's one of them that you strap into. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Like Jaws. You yes. <laughs> but okay, and it has the foot thing. Yeah. Okay. And that just needs some paint on it. Uh, I don't have the back for it, but when you fight a big fish, they take the back off. That's okay. Why it's made to come off. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But everything else is there. I got the base part. I mean, this thing was in its day really good. Now, I'm not saying how much money it's worth today, but I'm sure somebody would probably give you $100 for it. Yeah, probably. It sounds like it, at least, maybe. Uh, I've got that little car, I mean, it, which is nothing but scrap. I don't know what you would do with it, but there is a lot of metal on it. Uh, I have two ramps that are for the disabled vehicles. Okay. You know what they are? Yeah. Okay, they go into your receiver, they yeah, pull yeah. down twice, you drive it up on them. Okay. I've got two of those. I have, uh, I just got a big uh, tub with all like metal stuff in it, you know, like motors and some blowers and stuff like that. I've got. Uh, so you're packing? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to do something, you know. Uh, clean out some uh, and like like I say this this was my personal air conditioner that we only used two seasons and we only used it like in the hot weather you know yeah okay and we ended up going to a small it's nice oh it needs fuel lines we can see that can't we it needs the pool <laughs> thing at least yeah it's a pull start. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe just the blades are worth salvaging. I don't really know. Oh, whatever. Yeah, if whatever. you can't fix, fit, do anything with it, you can just scrap it later, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is heavy. Really crazy storm out right now. Merchandise getting ruined. There's the beetle boy. Whoa. You made it, buddy. Thanks to my help. All right, so we got this lens today. This is the ultimate lens to have, in my opinion. Better than a fisheye. Better than the stock lens. This is the best lens to have for what we do, what we film. Same exact one I had before, lost it, and it took about six months or more to get a new one, but it is a Canon 18, or 10 to 18 millimeter lens, um, Canon Company, obviously the best brand, in my opinion, but I'll show you guys the difference 
real quick. This box is good for resale, for reshipping and all this stuff with it is too. But this is what it looks like. Same, it looks the same almost as the lens that we have on the camera. But you guys will see the fast difference. So here's the stock lens. Regular lens, like it can get, it's getting pretty much like a box of what's in front of it, like just a square. But um, I'm gonna put the other lens on right now. Can you hold this please? Yes. So this is just a flat stock picture of reality. Take the other one off. Put this one on. Eye. Looks so really good. See, like I can see all the way from the dumpster Marcus thing all the way to this billboard over here. When if I right. want stock, because this does zoom the stock, I can literally only see from the this to not even to the wall of the kitchen. So it's I don't know how why that's even explaining anything. But I'm gonna start filming with this right after this because it's so much more glorious. But definitely if you're going vlog, either get a fisheye or a 10 to 18 millimeter because it's just pointless to have a stock lens. It doesn't get anything compared. I mean, it works, but it's not the same. All right, we're going with the new lens. Now we're on the Canon. I just put the GoPro to rest for now. But this is probably common sense for most people. I found the middle of the board and then I made a square as big as the table I'm gonna put it down on. And that's where I'm going to screw it down. It's right in the middle. So we have a good, nice table to take pictures with. And also to display different items. I was going to put a shelf that I had in the other room in here, but it has like mold on the bottom of it. So I hate mold. I put it outside. It's just trash at this point. So I'm going to have to find different shelves for this room. All right, so this is the lighting setup that Dale got us. It comes out to look like this. It's very simple, but still very effective. Um, it comes with a stand, the actual light part that plugs in and gets put on top of here, either this way or this way. And then it comes with a white umbrella and a black umbrella for each stand, and then a huge LED light. It's simple, but so effective, and it creates the nice, nice photo. So I'm gonna get a sheet for this, but this is just kind of like a test run. I think you can use these for just photos of people too, obviously. But this is the way to do it, boys. Setting up like a real store now. Alright, we are just got back to the people that we picked stuff out of their trash. Um, he called me and asked if I wanted to come by a few weeks ago and pick through his vintage toys and video games and anything else that they have in their garage and attic. Um, his name's Kevin. He's a local legend. Uh, they have like a wildlife refuge for the birds in their front yard. Um, and they hoard a lot of stuff, he said, or have over the years and they're trying to get rid of it. So he said, come by. I just talked to him and his mom. And he said, come by and pick through whatever you can. So this is going to be a really heavy pick. Like something that we don't really do that often, but I'm assuming if he was throwing stuff out, he's trying to get rid of it. So if I give him money for it, he'll be even happier. And who knows, maybe we'll come up on some serious treasure. So it's only one way to find out. Go out there and make it happen. What's your consensus on this pick? That's my consensus. Do you think yeah. it's going to get a little wild? Maybe. I was imagining like a garage is packed to the brim. Like, Three times worse than ours, like with stuff like falling over on you, jet because like <laughs> there's so much stuff. I hope not. You don't even have to go in if that's the case. All right, we're cashing out a bag of trash, uh, not trash, but clothing that we can't sell or can't do anything with. 
So these boxes save a lot in dump fees and they get stuff to people that actually buy it. Or I think some of these companies sell it by weight either to other countries or to like people like Goodwill. Not really sure. The way these trees look in this street in real life reminds me of a movie. I don't know why. Like there would be a kid biking down there. Yeah. I like your wolf shirt. <laughs> What's up? Tucker. I don't know if you remember. I remember you. I just... Yeah. <laughs> and this is my wife. I sent you a few messages and they're back here right now. Yeah, I got your phone call and then I called it back and no one answered and then I lost the number because I put it on a piece of paper and then I found it again, so I called you back. I was what that was all about. This is pretty awesome back here, dude. Mm -hmm. For sure, huh? All this computer stuff's going to get recycled, so if any of that appeals to you, you can... Like, just take it. Trashed. Yeah. Okay. And then there's this area down here. My mom just got back from a huge trip and she's stressed out, so she asked not to have anything, anyone inside the main house. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so yeah, you, yeah. I'd show you a bunch what of is all this, What is all this stuff? What are these things? These are old computers from the. Uh, Where'd you get all these from? My dad. Uh, hoarded all this stuff. Are you trashing these ones too? Yeah. Alright. I had a few uh, collectors look at it and they almost took them but changed their mind. Yeah. So they gave them back to me and I'm like, alright. Alright. But um, any of this stuff, and there's all a bunch of stuff down here. Yeah, let's check this out, right? This is awesome though. I like this kind of stuff. Oh, this is like a crazy dungeon down here, right? Yeah. There's, there's, um, there's whatever is left in the van. I had a uh, dunker a... come by and clear it out, but he left a few pieces. This is a VW bus in here? Yeah. This thing's gnarly. Yeah, anything you see in here that you can uh, break off or take with you. All these boxes up here you can buy. What are in them? Um, all kinds of things. There's uh, my old toys, my dad's old toys, Do you everyday have, uh, houseware things. There's mugs up there, there's a ice cube tray. What is that, Star Wars stuff? Yeah, some of it. Are you trying to sell that or no? Yeah, I'm trying to sell. What kind of prices you got on that stuff? Um, anything you want to uh, offer for a pile of w stuff. What's that whole box? All Star Wars or no? Uh, no, this is... Um, this is like everyday household stuff. Oh, like stuff. kitchen stuff. Yeah. How's that big guy on the top there? It's mostly together. It's missing the door. The door? See the How much you want for that? Um, what do you think is a fair price for this? I really don't know. What's it worth, do you think? Um, it's cool. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll get a pile together and then yeah. I'll make an offer? Yeah, get a pile together. I would want this, maybe. Get a pile together. I usually do uh, 50 to to $100 per car load. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So if you, if you fill up your car storage space, I'll do anything in between that price. Range. Oh wow! I uh, got here's the back door to the van. If you why find is this it easier to why is this van there. in here? My dad used it for flea markets, back and one in day the he day, parked right? it down here, and it broke down, and he never got it out. Okay, maybe add this to the pile, right? Is that cool? You got any action figures in here? Yeah, somewhere in one of these totes, there's action figures. All right, let's keep going. How's this thing? Um, had something, someone is that? almost bought, but it didn't have enough working parts for them. So your dad was a flea market guy. Yeah. Where is he now? He passed. Yeah, he passed on. Make a Celsius, dude. This is crazy down here, boys. This is straight. Picker, paradise. Um, 
80 years old and he died from leukemia that they didn't diagnose until too late because he didn't think it was serious enough. Maybe to that, I'll take that with it. And if I haven't, um, I haven't had time to get any of these totes since the last time I had them pulled out. So if you want to go through one of the boxes, you'll have to. Yeah, let me pull one down and see. Open it up, go through it, put it aside, and get to the one under. It. Okay, let's get this going, right? What is this stuff? Stuff, dude. This thing, though, I have this same jackpot thing. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. Wow. Oh, man, this stuff is just filled. What is that guy from? I don't know. Okay, let's go deeper. Actually, hold on. Mm. Atari. Do you have the gaming systems in here too? Um, I might have one. You don't I know. Either sold or. So what is this thing called? Do you remember? That's a X-wing. X-wing. Yeah, I have a couple of them. They have different parts on them. Different quality. I think that's my wife. Probably. This guy's a god. Alright. This is a crazy amount of stuff. Some of it's broken. Some of it's legendary. Star Wars. I don't know. A lot of this stuff might gonna probably end up like trash or something, but for the price is right, guys. I guess just this one more, right? What is this thing? Maybe that's five boxes so far. Okay. I'll do, um... I'll give you a couple extra. All right. All right. We'll see when we get out there. Okay. That's five boxes. How about the the five and those two and these for sixty? Is that yeah, would that be doable for you? Yeah, and then you can take any of the computer stuff. Okay, that's that's old, a good deal, dude. Thank the old you. Rusted box there, whatever that is. Yeah, I'm gonna load these. these. The, this thing of jars, maybe. I'm gonna load what I can now because I do have some equipment in my truck, so we'll see. You can have this monkey. That's a cool monkey. I'll take it. I like that. So thank you, dude. All right. Pound it, brother. Just scored from the boy. So we'll be back. He's got hordes of goodies for the dream. Peace out, dude. You! You! <laughs> the boy dude, right? Alright, so we just got five boxes of old, like, Star Wars, Ghostbusters, toys, various other James Bond-ish. I don't really even know what half this stuff is, but he just gave us five boxes of whatever I wanted for 50 bucks, so I think there's like three items in those boxes that could be sold for $50, if not one item. There was like a Luke Skywalker original, very first action figure in one of those, which I think is worth like 20. I have no idea. And then there's like all these computers, like the original, original computers, before they made desktops, and there's like 15 of them and he just gave them to us for free because he was gonna throw them out so a lot of work like bringing this and hoarding it but whoo such an epic pick so this is one box that's not ruined totally one box so I'm claiming 
a hundred dollar box easily. That Darth Vader alone is chipped a little bit, but worth 50 bucks by itself. It's a lamp. And whatever this is, easily a $10 item. A wooden clog, Fisher Price toy. This still has liquor in it. Big Bird clock. Damn, dude, this stuff is glorious. Code book, secret agent, man. Here's this money, boys. What is that? Dude, what is this stuff, dude? No way. Some of it's ruined for sure. USS Enterprise. This, we already sold one of those for five. So you know it's worth at least that. Ruined. This is gold, this box. Job of the hut, dude. Are you kidding? That's cool. <laughs> Where's the arm, that, that dude? Looks like Landis. <laughs> Look. Ninja Turrets. This was cool. Right? Dude, so sick. Four spot. Some of this stuff somehow got wet. Radio Shack Armatron. <laughs> Alf. <laughs> Who's this boy? Woo! Almost fell over. Yeah, some of it's trash, I'll admit. Alright, this is probably the best item we got. The Darth Vader lamp. Let's just test this thing out right now and see what we're working with. Along with all the toys, too, we got all these personal computers. These are like before desktops came out, I guess. Um, Texas Instruments, probably worth a couple, 100 each, maybe. Um, but I have a buyer. I don't know. I was telling him he can have all of them for 75 because I'm not, I just want to move this stuff so that my house isn't filled. He wants to meet tomorrow, I think, up. So it's like, I don't know if they even work. Because some of them had water on them a little bit. But there is a few that seem like they would be fine. This one, for sure, there's these two, all these also. So... Probably worth it for him. Even if just one works, he could probably get his money back. So this one looks like it was in perfect condition. That's a Timex Sinclair 1500. So I just texted him some photos and he's interested for sure. So I'm looking to get like 75. 175 maybe at the lowest for those. And probably trying to look to get probably 100 for all the Star Wars stuff. But if I get 75 for those, 75 for the others, already making money, over 100. So, all the other knickknacks are just a plus. I mean, I think I could get 20 for this, 15, 20 for this. Maybe two, the same for this, and maybe 20 for this. All broken down, it's probably like three, four, 500. Cause there's like a lot of stuff. So like, even just this I think is worth 10, 15, you know? 
I'm not sure what this is from. If anyone knows, please be our kind guest and tell us. 1981. So this stuff's really old. Like, this is when they first started making, like, all this stuff. Like, Godzilla. I think this guy's worth, like, 10. 1987. Made in China still, though. Well, I guess that would be obvious. That's where it's from. Wooden clog life. It's probably for my mom. One comic book. This big bird talking clock does. So cool. It's probably broken, honestly, but. What's the claim? So much stuff. I'm claiming valued at like three to five hundred, though. Yeah, for certain. Yeah. Yeah, because some of the stuff is definitely sellable. I told him for all the computers, 75. And he said he wants to meet up. Right now? This weekend, so tomorrow. Okay. I mean, even if he gives us 50, if he can make money off them, it's worth it. Move the product, get you, more. Yeah, because he probably knows how to... He said he sells these. Yeah, because he probably knows specific buyers so he can sell it. On eBay. More. Yeah. The one in there definitely is fine, and this one is packed. So, like, if he's getting three for 25 each and sells them for 100 each, you know what I mean? And then all the extras, he can bundle up and say, don't know if they work, and sell them for 50, you know? Because mm -hmm. he knows, like, the shipping on them, too. Like, we wouldn't know even. Sissy. What's up with that? And even just these things, dude. Yeah, there's one of those. They're like games, like before Atari even came out. That's wild, right? Well, that is an Atari computer. Think about that. And then they made a video game. That's be that's pre-Atari video game. <laughs> you even know what Atari is, right? Uh-uh. The joystick thing? Legendary. Celebratory blizzard at the local DQ. Yeah. And I washed the... My wallet. Yes. That was good enough money for that kid to take, though, the boy. Oh, boy. Uh, he wanted shit. more where that came from. Did you tell him that it's because he lost in the washer? No, he didn't care. His hands were... Yeah. For Kitty? For the baby girl. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. We are signing off for the night. Um... About to just relax and go to sleep. It's already seven. Uh, we just got some ice cream and living the dream. But yeah, we will be back to that guy's house probably in the future. If there's any items you saw in the video today, if we haven't sold them already and you're looking to buy them, just let us know. And yeah, stuff like that is what life is all about. Uh, meeting people, picking through their shit, picking through their hoard, and just making relationships with people that you wouldn't normally be friends with. Um, that's what the scrap life's all about. That's what we're all about is just being of the world, um, not just in it. So like branching out and, and being part of something bigger than ourselves, I guess, if that makes any sense at all. But uh, yeah, the dream continues and like always just keep pushing everyone. Hope you guys like the new lens too. Cause yeah, it looks cool. It's way better for me. And I can actually capture a lot more of what's going on without it being all shaky and close up. So, yeah, keep pushing everyone. You! Good night or good morning. <laughs> Peace. I love you. Hey, MJ. Little fox.
mouse boy. Have a little mousy girl. I see all this potential and I see it squandered. An entire generation pumping gas, waiting tables, slaves with white collars. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. We're the middle children of history. No purpose or place. We have no great war, no great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. We've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars. But we won't. We're slowly learning that fact. And we're very, very pissed off.